Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're back out in the green swamp. Today we're going to cook you up a whole chicken in the Dutch oven. We'll do it a little different this time. We're going to do it more camp style. So y'all stay tuned. here is kind of wet but we managed to use our cotton ball that's dipped in paraffin our striker to get that going always bring your propane torch so as a backup I slowly feed it, start feeding it bigger stuff. And then eventually, I'm gonna start bridging stuff over these two outside guys. I keep plenty of air moving to it. Before you know it, you'll have a campfire. And this is a cooking fire, not a really a campfire. So we got our chicken out of the cooler, you know, and we didn't wash it because washing it just spreads around any germs that might be on him. Just patted him off with a, some paper towels and threw those paper towels in the fire. Let them burn. So the first thing I'll do is just give him a little spray of olive oil. If you don't have the spray kind, just use a regular at camp. This is going to be way easier if you use a spray. Alright, and we're keeping the season simple, our favorite Seminole Swamp season. And we're going to give him, it's going to be a pretty big chunk of meat there. So we're going to try to get him on pretty good on all of his sides. This is the no MSG version of a Seminole Swamp right here. The no MSG version. It is a little less salty tasting. I don't know that it actually has less salt in it. But the absence of the MSG makes it taste less salty, I can tell you that. So that allows you to give it a little more than you would uh, the regular, because the regular can get a little bit over the top salty if you put too much on it. Let's get some on the inside, and uh, that's about it. We're going to try to like tie these feet together. But I doubt you're going to want to do that at camp, so we're going to leave them lay just like that. So what I did was I went right over here, one of these neighboring oak trees, cut off a little sucker coming off the side there with my saw, and we stripped the limbs off of it and uh, washed them, and that's going to be a little oak rack, and it's got to be oak tree or, you know, hickory or something like that. Okay, hardwood tree, leaving a bark on. That's going to kind of uh, form a little kind of a rack for our, our bird to lay on. I'm going to lay him right on there. And you hear the horses here. We are at an, a kind of equestrian uh, primitive site where everybody likes to bring their horses and come out here and ride the woods. It's a beautiful place. So got him sitting up right up on there. Let's go ahead and get the lid on him, and then we're going to set him in beside the fire while the coals are still getting ready and let that oven start heating up. We're just going to have to make sure we keep turning it, but it's going to get some good heat on the sides. If we get it going a little ways, we'll start piling some coals on top. A nice hot spot right there. I've been trying to like start nestling these back that way. Okay, 
because we're going to get really hot side there. We want these coals to bring over later. But right now, we're just going to keep an eye on it, and about every five or six minutes, I'm going to come over here and turn it. So now that I've rotated that oven through 360 degrees around, I would love to have some really long tongs that do this. I'm gonna start taking some of those major coals and uh, moving them around the backside with my shovel. And this fire pit is just a little bit tight. Now that I got them kind of away, I take those major ones and kind of bring them right over here on this back side. All right, we're still going to be hotter on this side because we still got our fire going over there. But now we're getting, going to get a nice heat going on the bottom. We will on about 375, 400 in this thing. So we'll keep feeding the fire over there to making coals. And then when we get a nice bed going over there, which won't be long, we're going to lay them up on top. So we're about 35 minutes in and I can really hear it going now. I'll just put these three big ones up on the top here. So let's uh, go ahead and just take a real quick peek. Before we do that, just tap your lid. You got loose ash will drop off and that sucker is hot. And uh, hopefully those sticks are holding them up off the bottom good enough. So he's already looking awesome. So what I want to do now, I think, is I want to just pull them off and I want to scoop back some of that uh, bottom heat that we brought over. Gonna set them over here to the side. Let's take some of this uh, and kind of just spread it out a little bit more, okay? He's got enough heat on the bottom. That oven's been going. Plus, he's getting a radiant heat from the fire itself over there. I'll put him back on, get the lid back on, and then uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on that top heat. If it starts getting too much, we'll just push some of them off. Go take another quick peek. Man, that's really getting nice. I'm gonna say bottom heat, no longer necessary. I'm gonna pull it out, we'll set it over here side of the fire pit. Man, that's looking gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and keep that top heat on her for a little while longer. I want to make sure the skin's nice and crispy and it's done all the way through. Let's go take a look at our chicken. Let it rest for about 15 minutes. Man, looks awesome. You see those uh, sticks have held it up off the bottom, so let's take a look at the other side. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. So, I know it, uh, look at that. That skin perfectly rendered and moist.
So what we're going to do right now, just for you guys, you know, we're going to go in there and take us a little slice of that breast meat right next to the breastbone. And oh my God. So in the beginning of this video, I told you that a little bit of wood was gonna impart some flavor to this chicken. I know you want a bite of that. Steaming hot, but moist, really moist. It really does have a little bit of flavor from that oak. I got the wishbone in that piece there, but go over here for this one right here. Just those three little oak twigs in there. Mm. The Seminole Swamp seasoning. To me, you couldn't cook no more perfect chicken than that right there. So, if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right over there. And for another great Backwoods Gourmet video, it's gonna be right up here for a whole playlist of outdoor cast iron and Dutch oven cooking. It'll be right there. We'll see you next time. Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet today. We're back out in the creek. <sighs> Can't say it.